It just <laughs> goes to show that this man is thinking ahead of his time, in my opinion. His yeah. name is Neil Harbison. He's an avant-garde artist and a cyborg, apparently, for the last 10 years. He's in the studio. Good morning, yeah. Neil. Thank you. You have an antenna attached to the top of your head. Explain why you've done this. Well, it's implanted. It's not attached. It's inside my skull. So it was surgically implanted and it allows me to hear the sound of color. So oh. color has light frequencies and this chip inside my head allows me to hear the sound of the colors around me. Here in, in Dubai, the aim is to create uh, art projects based on the sound of color and the color of sound. When I was in New York, I scanned the city of Dubai through Google Street View. So I went online and then I listened to the streets and I listened to the walls and I sensed that there was a lot of yellow and orange and shades of, of uh, beige, a lot, uh, like a sand color. But then uh, when I came here and I scanned the, again, I, I detect a few more colors that I didn't detect online. This is how I hear different uh, elements now. So now I can compose music by looking at colors. Instead of playing an instrument, I can actually have different colors in front of me, amplify the sounds in my head and create color contours. So I sent the colors that I heard through the antenna to Dr. Toast so that he could create a composition, an um, electronic piece with the, the notes of the colors of the bite. That's right, so the melodic content comes from the sounds that Neil provided from his antenna. Yeah. And he collected those sounds um, in Dubai. So. Okay, have we got the song there? Should we play a little bit of the song real yes, quick? Yes, we is, do. This is the song of Dubai, of Dubai colors. Have a listen to this. Inside it's quite silent, but then the wood is F sharp, so mainly F sharp. Giraffes are also between like G and F sharp, similar to the, the, the buildings actually. Yeah, this is A, this is a very different note. Today I met the Sheikh and uh, I had the antenna pointing at his face so that I could listen to the colors and he sounded quite um, golden actually, so I don't know if it was the but I could hear F sharps, shades of F sharp, and also a bit of yellow. So what really surprised me is that people who say they're black, they're not actually black, they're very, very dark orange. And people who say they're white, they're not white, they're very, very light orange. It's never black or white, because if it was black, it would be silent, and if it was white, it would be silent. So uh, we are all orange. Color and sound are not separate. They can actually be the same thing, and this is what you can experience as well here with the canvases. It's not only a visual element, a canvas can also be a score, a musical score, so it's good to open these possibilities. It, it sounds good. <laughs> sounds good? <laughs> yes. Oh man, I wish I could hear. <laughs> Can I skip? Oh man, it is a symphony. So collaborating with a choir from Raffles School and they are learning to sing colors so we'll present a color concert uh, where the audience will be seeing the colors that the children will be singing. So whenever you see the color change, you'll change the note. It's complex to sing colors and they're doing it quite well, so it's hopefully the concert will also go well. The talk was interesting, they had so many questions and uh, some questions that I, never be, I had never been asked before. No, I mean if I sleep, I turn off the light so then it's silent and then if I leave the curtain on open in the morning then the colors wake me up, so it works as an alarm clock sometimes. Mm, well, I think he's amazing. He he has changed our thoughts about music in a different way, changing music into color at the same time. I think uh, Aunt Neil is the best guy I've ever met. I never knew colors had music in it, but it's really cool how he found a way to actually overcome this problem that like that lots of people wish that they didn't have. Neil just blew my mind because uh, I wanted to like uh, when I grow up, I wanted to do science and stuff like this but I didn't knew that technology reached this level. I was invited 
by the Dubai Canvas Festival to actually search which is the dominant color of Dubai. The dominant color is a shade between yellow and orange. It's a, a kind of sand, but it's a very specific shade, which is a, a note that you will hear tonight. The choir will actually be following the colors in these uh, screens and you'll be seeing the same colors at the back screen. So you'll be hearing the sound of color sung by, by the children. It's been great to be here. It's been a great experience to, to be able to sense the colors of Dubai and uh, then also collaborate with people from Dubai in order to express the sound of colors of their city. Thank you very much for having me in Dubai. It's been a great experience. <laughs>